Hey, my name is Charles Panner here at JTEC, and we're going to go over the uh, clutch adjustment for this uh, easy pedal clutch on this Freightliner with a CAD engine and this Eaton Fuller transmission and Eaton Fuller clutch. So we're going to go through it. Uh, first things first, we got to check to make sure we need the do adjust, uh, clutch adjustment. So if you come on in here, we use this tool. It's got a fork on one end, and it's a little pointy on it. This is a half inch tubing to go between the uh, the throttle bearing and the clutch brake, we need a half inch. This is kind of like a go no go gauge. And then we need an eighth, eighteen, eighth of an inch between the forks and the throttle bearing. I'll show you where those things are. So, we come up in here. So our clutch inspec inspection cover is already off, so we can look at it. If you look up here, this on the throttle bearing. Let me turn this around. Here's our throttle bearing, and here is our clutch brake right there. The thing on the side, you see it moving? Okay, so we need to check this space. So we're going to use the fork end of the tool and put it between here. And if you look, there's a lot of play in there. That should not be that way. Now let's check the forks. I don't know if you can see this. We're going to go on this side first. Check the forks with the throw bearing, and I cannot get my gauge in there at all. And on the other side, I cannot get my gauge in there at all. So this clutch needs to be adjusted. So I'm gonna have my assistant up top press on the clutch. What that's gonna do is gonna take pressure off this pressure plate right here and allow me to use this clutch to adjust this bolt right here. Alright. Push down the clutch. Yeah. Alright, so. Put my ratchet up on here. Push it. Righty tighty lefty loosey. All right, now we're gonna check it. Release the clutch. All right, we're gonna check it again. And we are a little sunny. Adjust a little bit more. All right, press the clutch. All right, release it. There we go, that's better. So it's nice and snug. We can move it out. Sorry. So this clutch has been adjusted. Now we're gonna check the forks. Check this side first. So you see what we're doing? We're checking the distance between this fork and the throw out bearing. And, oh, it's fitting. And it's fitting on that side. Good. So this clutch is properly adjusted. Now we are going to go up top and check the free pedal plate and then come okay, back so and now the we're going to adjust or check the free the free play on the pedal. And what that is, it's the pushing of the pedal until those forks engage onto the throw barrier. And our our tolerance is one inch to two inches. So we're going to take our tape measure, put it against the firewall. Our measurement's about nine inches right now. We push down. We go to about inch and a half. It's going from about a nine, less than a nine, to about seven and a half. So the reason we use our fingers is because we can judge the, the, the wall a lot easier. If we use our foot, there's a chance we can overpress it just a little bit, and that'll give us a, a wrong reading. So we use our fingers to get that nine inches, about seven and a half, so it's an inch and a half of play. That's what we want. It's about one, one inch to two inches. So next, we're going to check the clutch brake. We're going to uh, check the uh, clutch brake. So we have to engage the clutch all the way. And the idea is I'm going to let out this clutch, the clutch pedal, and between half an inch to one inch, the feeler gauge that we put in down between the throttle bearing and the clutch brake will fall out or be really pulled out somewhere between an inch and a half an inch. So the reason we do this is so that it assists the driver in going in from to putting the, putting the transmission in the first and reverse. It allows to stop the, stop the transmission completely or stop the input shaft completely. So if you come back in here, we look, 
you look, we're at about an inch and a quarter or an inch and seven, three quarters. And they're gonna tell me, okay, I'm letting out the pedal. Okay, so it traveled to about two and a half. So we got about three quarters of an inch. That's within our tolerance, so we're good. All right, so that's how we do clutch brake. Now we're gonna go underneath again, talk about the clutch brake some more. And well, I'm gonna show you the feeler gauge, where to place the feeler gauge, and also talk about uh, the grease points. All right, so we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna, we're gonna put the feeler gauge up there so you see how to do this. So come on in. So right now, the clutch is disengaged. Put the feeler gauge up here. All right, press in the clutch. Now if you look, the feeler gauge is now hanging there. All right, let out the clutch. See that? That's what we're looking for. And that's where that two, uh, two, uh, half inch to an inch comes in. So we're using a tenth of an inch feeler gauge to do that. Okay, now next thing I'm gonna note on here, we get my handy dandy pointer, is the grease fittings. So if you look, this right here is a grease fitting. There's another one here. There's also two on the outsides, which kind of a pain in the butt to see. But there's one there. There's one over here. It's way up top. I don't know if you can see it from there, but we'll come back in here. So when you grease these, you grease these grease fittings, right? So you put, when you grease them, you're gonna grease them until you see grease come, be, come out from the bearing itself. Now, the, you don't over grease it. The way you know you're over greasing is that you've filled this thing with grease. You don't want the grease to come out because it has to grease this clutch brake. The clutch brake will not work without grease. So you make sure that every time you do a clutch adjustment, you grease this clutch. All right, so that's all things to note about this uh, clutch adjustment. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, if I missed something, let me know. Thank you again and have a nice day.